Yep, that's my phone wireless charging on my desk. There's uh, nothing under it, solid wood, but it's charging. So in today's video, we're going to be adding a wireless charger to a desk. Let's do it. G'day, I'm Cam, and this is a wireless charger. We've all seen it before. Take your phone, slap it on top, and they're charging. But if you took off the plastic shroud, it'll look something like this. This is a 10 watt dual core wireless charger, and it's what we're going to put in the desk. First, we need to figure out how much wood the wireless charger can transmit through to the phone. Paper is great for this since they're both the same family, and you can easily take away or add more to figure out the thickness. Too much paper, or distance between the coils, and the charging rate drops dramatically. We get the right amount, and it's a good speed. I found that 2mm of paper and the 2mm of my phone case, so 4mm total, was charging at the same rate as no paper and no phone case. So 2mm of wood, it is. Next up, just decide exactly where to put it. I found that there is a join exactly where I want to put my phone, so I'm going to align the coils with that area, making it easy to remember where it is. Now for the not so fun part, pulling apart my desk. To make this happen, I'm going to use a plunge router. This is a pretty unique tool as it allows you to accurately set the depth that you want to hollow out some material. As with all DIY, it's a good idea to test on some scrap just to ensure everything is as expected. Especially if this is your first time using a tool like this. This is mine, I picked it up on a Prime Day deal. As you can see, it works by hollowing out layer by layer until you're left with a hollowed out section. Now at 2mm, you can hear the difference in the wood. It's obviously quite thin on top. It can even feel some flex under load. So I'm not going to try and wireless charge any bricks. Now it's time to move over to the real deal. I'm going to simply mark out where the charger will go and ensure it's super visible. Now we were talking millimeter precision before. This is achieved by lowering or plunging the router down until the routing bit touches the desk surface. We then set the marker to zero and lift the stop rod to our desired depth. My desk is 25 mil thick, so 23 mil is our setting. With that locked in, we start hollowing away. And here we have it, a perfect hole for our wireless charger. Two millimeters from busting through the desk. To secure it, I'm going to make a simple metal bracket to put pressure on it to hold it against the desk. Then I'm going to add a little foam riser to the back of the circuit board and drill it also into place. Whilst the desktop is off, I'm going to convert it into a real YouTuber's desk with some LED strips. Nothing screams the real deal more than some RGB. I'll put everything back together and here we go. Now it doesn't stop there, I've ordered four more of the wireless chargers from online. They're only five bucks each going directly from China because you're only buying the internal components. Now, you don't need a plunger router to do this job. You could get away with using other tools. However, it is the best, most efficient tool for this job as a DIY enthusiast. However, if you don't have a shop vac, it makes a hell of a mess with sawdust. Router dust? If you love today's vid, make sure to click that bell icon down below so you don't miss out on a future one like it. I make tech vids on either reviewing off-the-shelf products or making our own. And if you've got any questions about today's video, drop it down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in one of these videos. That one. That was that was cringe. Shouldn't have dabbed. Alright, see you dude.